Hello everybody and welcome back to All That Jess. <laughs> I think this is probably the video that a lot of you guys have been waiting for. We are going to talk about exercise in Ireland and I am just leaving work very late at the moment and uh, I'm going to the gym. So I actually joined a gym. I know, I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> It is starting to get really dark and really cold in Dublin and the clocks go back in like two weeks which means that it's going to be this dark an hour earlier <laughs> and then it's going to start to get really really cold. So I suppose I will start off by telling you about the options you have for gyms in Ireland. Um, <clears throat> the price range really, really varies depending on what gym you go to. There's, there is a big selection um, and I think usually you kind of pay for the more amenities that you have. So if you have some, some gyms will just have the gym equipment, some gyms are going to have a swimming pool, some gyms are going to have a jacuzzi, you know, the more you pay the more amenities you're going to get. Two of the main gyms in Dublin are um, Ben Dunn gyms, and they have a few all over Dublin, and then there is Flyfit gyms as well. So I'll give you a little insider tip. Ben Dunn gyms always do sales in January because that's the time of year that everybody kind of joins the gym uh, with their New Year's resolutions. So Ben Dunn gyms will do a really big discount in January or December or January. So that's the best time to buy because most Flyfit gyms are actually 24 hours. So again, it kind of depends on what sort of gym you're looking for. Kind of depending on your schedule, maybe you're free at really strange hours. Maybe you work during the day and then you can only go to the gym at night. So maybe FlyFit would be the best option for you. I love walking around Dublin at night. It is just gorgeous. All the lights turn on, the bridges light up. It's just, it's gorgeous. I am nearly at the gym now. I'm a little bit out of breath from walking. <laughs> it's not a good sign. I clearly need to go to the gym a little bit more often. <laughs> Another thing to remember is that you don't need to join a gym to stay fit in Ireland. There are plenty of opportunities to do this uh, for free. Dublin is full of fantastic places to go running or cycling or rollerblading or whatever. Uh, some of my favourite places include Phoenix Park, of course, uh, Marley Park, which is on the south side of Dublin, supposed to be a really, really beautiful park. Dublin is also right beside the coast, but another great idea is to go running or cycling along the coast road. So you can do this on the north side of the city or the south side of the city. I would recommend going down True Clontarf, which is absolutely lovely. They've got a, a pathway that goes the whole way down along the coast road, which is fantastic um, for exercising. I would recommend going down to the North Wall, very scenic route, uh, really good for runners. Cycle lanes all over Dublin City, so if you're interested in just going for a quick spin, you can literally go anywhere you want to go in Dublin. It's very safe to cycle in Dublin in comparison to many of the other major cities in Europe. Another great option for free exercise in Dublin and Ireland is to join some of the free dance classes. Um, so if you check out Dublin for free, which is an app that you can download on your phone, you can see if there's any free classes at night. You know the Grand Social have free swing classes, free samba classes and like, like dance groups that get together just to, to dance together, which is lovely. There are absolutely loads of dance groups all over Ireland that are getting together to dance the night away. <laughs> And then the last tip for free exercise in Dublin is to get a gang of your friends around for a football match. Now there are fake football pitches all over Ireland um, called AstroTurfs and I think that you can rent these out for like maybe 15 euros. So if you have like a bunch of your friends getting together you each pay like maybe 2 euro and then you get to play football together on the AstroTurf. However, you also have the option to go to a park and play for completely free because they would have goalposts there that you are free to use for absolutely anybody. So um, yeah, if you're near an AstroTurf, you might have to pay a few euros. If you're near a park, then you don't have to pay anything. <laughs> and I have arrived.
então a, a diferença do, do, de, de academia aqui na aqui na Irlanda no Brasil aqui tem várias academias que tem área de, de piscina tem jacuzzi a, a, a banheiro de massagem sauna seca sauna molhada um steam room né e e aí tipo essa academia em particular ela é dentro de um hotel é, mas é uma academia legal tal tem toda a área de, de treinamento funcional tem área de, de, de peso também tem essa área que é uma área para para tipo é, as classes que a gente fala que é as, as, as aulas spinning body pump sei lá não, não faço muitas aulas mas mas então essa área aqui ela é é, então a academia, tipo assim, ao invés de ser igual no Brasil, tem várias academias que são tipo assim, só a área de, 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 de treinar, é, aqui várias academias, a maioria das academias são divididas em várias, em várias partes. Aí você passa tudo, você nada no final de semana e tal. Então, é, aí vocês vão ver nos clipes aí. Você vai ser rápido dois minutos. Sábado de manhã, a Jess me chamou pra beber ontem. Pra beber, a gente aqui né, gravando a gente cuidando. <risos> in bed and relaxing and my body is sore <laughs> so I really hope that you guys enjoyed that little insight into exercise in Ireland if you have any questions at all um, please do leave a comment down below and I am going to go through and read them all tonight I will see you again really really soon Beijo. ciao